How to draw a mouth. In this art video we will learn how to draw a realistic looking mouth in pencil. Basic materials you'll need are a minimum of two sketch pencils. Here I have a standard everyday HP pencil to apply the lighter shading and the second pencil I have is a much darker 4B pencil which I will use to apply the darker shadow and tone. If you enjoy sketching in pencil, it's well worth the investment of owning a range of different leaded pencils to give your drawings more visual impact and depth. To begin, draw a straight line to indicate where you want your lips to be. You may curve the lines up or down to indicate your expression. For me, I want a slightly positive expression, so I'm going to do a slightly curved up line and make it an almost smiling mouth. Next, draw a circle in the centre with only a slight bit of the circle below this line. After that, draw some secondary circles on the side of and slightly above the centre circle. Then you need to draw the lines as shown in this image. These lines have formed lips, so follow the four circles when drawing your lines. To form the mouth, you need to go around the outside of these circle lines. Follow the four circles when drawing your lip lines. As a general rule, the top lip is usually slightly thinner than the bottom lip. So you may look at your image again and second guess and think that you want to alter the shape, which is absolutely fine. And next you need to go in with some curved shading lines to give that vision of something that is slightly 3D. Obviously when we're drawing lips we want to give the illusion that they are rounded and plump, so I am going to curve my lines to give that effect. You should also notice that when you look at lips or a mouth you will see lines and wrinkles and so those lines are things that you really need to capture. So right now I'm just plotting in where I want the darkest tones to be. If you look at the reference image to the top left you can see that the darkest area would be the shadow underneath the bottom lip so I'm just plotting in where that shading will be and the center line between the top and the bottom lip is very dark indeed and you will also notice that I am erasing that strong line of the lips. Now one thing that can really make lips look unrealistic is a very clear line going around the outer edge of the lip. The thing that gives reality and realism to a picture would be the level of highlight, shading and tone that you add. So it's about softening and enhancing at the same time. So in terms of enhancing the image, you want to bring in that contrast by really pressing quite hard where the darker parts of the shadows are. Here you'll see I'm building up some tones and I'm just using a range of hatching and cross-hatching shading techniques. This gives an illusion that the lips uh, have a face to sit on. I'm also smudging the skin tone with a little bit of my finger and also adding some highlights. The highlight is obviously where the highest part of the skin protrudes, so I'm just looking at a reference image of a mouth and just trying to replicate that. It's really important that you get a white highlight line on the bottom lip. Okay, so between the bottom darkest shadow and the lip, there should be the lightest highlight possible. I'm also using the eraser to give an illusion of more fuller lips, so I'm bringing a curved line into the bottom lip here. We don't want any straight lines anywhere for the pure reason that we want it to look 3D.